Okay, YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to clean the carburetor on this monster generator I have. It's Briggs and Stratton, 5550 watts and 8550 starting. Pretty good unit. Had it uh, four or five years, but only used about 20 hours. But uh, I ran it the last time, ran the gasoline out, but it's plugged up. So. We we'll take the carburetor apart, clean it. The spark plug looks good. Air filter's clean, so that's all that's left to check. Pretty nice unit. Got it at Home Depot. Apologize for the shaky video here. My camera's messed up that I normally use, so I'm using my. Uh, Laptop cam. This is a 10 horse unit. Like I got at Home Depot, I think I told you. So it's only got about 20 hours on it. So it's got to be a carburetor. So Carburetors on this end. Fuel line, so forth. So, let's tear into it. Okay, taking the carburetor off. And... Got to disconnect these two thick wire... <clears throat> And then this thinner wire from the top. And there are two long bolts holding it on. And the bolts themselves come out with a 532nd um, socket. Okay, here's the carburetor. There's your gas intake. Back end of the unit. This is your choke end. Okay, there's two screws you have to take off to get into the bowl and these for mothers to get off. I end up using um, vice grips. Looking at somebody else's video, it was actually on a motorcycle teardown, but uh, these things are brass. And they got a Phillips and a flat slot screw head, but the brass is pretty soft. So anyway, so I've chewed them up a little bit, but Basically, there's two of them, and of course you want to hold on to the the bowl here because it's got a spring underneath. I've already taken this part and cleaned it, so it's looking pretty good. One of the screws. I don't know if you can see, I've kind of boogered it up a little bit, but it still works. Take the bowl off carefully. There's a spring right there holding things down. Trying to get this in the light so you can see. You got the float here, got a little 
rod on the hinge goes out the other way it looks like like so got a little piston sits in here slides in this slot goes up and down into this chamber right here got to get that back in right and this whole thing comes off my gasket looks good this is going to sit down in this this port right here gasket looks good like I said so when you put this in back in it clicks into place this bottom raised area goes down into this kind of figure eight looking thing there's the uh, main jet it looked clean but like I said it was this top part that was completely clogged I think that's my problem we'll find out when we put it back together and start it up but I had I used the wire, pretty thin wire, to clean that. I've since cleaned up these, this jet here. This one was especially dirty. So anyway, this plastic piece that sits on top of the carburetor jet, um, I still need to clean this port out. But what was completely plugged was the top of the jet here and this is a very small hole but this wire barely <coughs> fits in as you can see this is a pretty thin wire maybe a sixteenth of an inch so I need to clean this a little bit more there we go, look at that coming out. Bunch of crap. Good old ethanol. Gasoline, I guess. So I ran this generator um, completely out of gas and didn't store it with any gas in it. So, that's all I can attribute this to. Well, I uh, soaked the carburetor bowl in uh, carburetor cleaner, and you know there's quite a bit of buildup in the bottom. Okay, so I think I got the float bowl pretty clean. Like I said, I used a carburetor cleaner, soaked it, then I literally used a screwdriver and so forth to kind of scrape out the uh, stuff accumulated. As for the carburetor, I got it, I think, pretty clean. This main jet here wasn't that bad. Um, I did run a wire brush or wire this size wire through the uh, these ports and of course one on the inside down in the ports also 
and in here, and anywhere there was the tube. This is the choke side. Sprayed in all these ports with carburetor cleaner. Sprayed the fuel intake. And on the other end, so I think I got it pretty clean. <clears throat> okay, we put this back together. Gonna hook this little piston. in this bottom slot on the float. It goes down into the chamber there and slide your gotta get lined up to slide your Little rod in like so. Okay. Last but not least, don't forget the spring. So try there in the middle. And this goes on, and of course you can only go in one way. Hold it down because it's there again, spring reloaded. Start your screws. has to be pushed down tighter. The spring is pretty stronger than you think. The screws weren't biting in. I think that'll do it. So we're ready to put this puppy back on and fire it up. Bowl's been cleaned. Intake's been cleaned. Choke end's been cleaned. Other end's been cleaned. I think we're in good shape. Okay, you givers started right up. So, carburetor needed cleaning. And we're good to go. The pipe to 550 watts Briggs and Stratton engine. Recommend it. But I think you ought to consider putting the inline filter in because this. Ethanol, crappy grass we have nowadays is going to clog you up. Hope you enjoyed this video. And visit my channel, Harrison.
4803, if you're interested in more do-it-yourself videos.